Do you know that you actually have a full-fledged video editor directly in the DJI Fly app that will allow you to make some really stunning videos directly on your phone? In this video, we will take a closer look at the video editing options available. Welcome to another video. I'm Henry Olsen, and if you want to learn how to make better videos with your drone and camera in general, then consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss out on my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. From the front screen of the app, there is in the lower left corner a shortcut to the album. And in here you have all the clips that is currently downloaded from the drone. If you establish connection to the drone, you of course you will have access to the footage that is currently stored on the SD card on the drone. But for this example, we will move forward with the clips that is available offline. As you can see, there's plenty to choose from. Uh, I have some uh, four clips here in the bottom uh, that I will uh, be using. And uh, in the lower right corner, there is a button called Create. If I press that, I will get access to something called Quick Stories. And this is uh, a way that you very easily can format uh, the footage that you have into some usable clips that you can use on social media. Let's just try an example here. Let's go down here and say, we want to use maybe uh, you see there's a lot of options to choose from here and uh, let's say we just want to do like a breakthrough clip so you get a short demonstration what this clip this clips actually does and as you can see it requires two clips to be able to do this so if i press apply here you can see i get access to the library and i can choose the clips that i want to use for this uh, test footage let's just pick the last one and the first one and you get a number uh, on top of the clip that indicate the order that it will appear in this quick edit. Let's just say add. And now you can see that it uses my footage to add some pretty nice effect to it. So it looks uh, really nice and I can share this clip instantly on social media if I want to. So that's a pretty easy, fast way to get to some stunning results. But if you notice, there's a little uh, error in the clip in the transition that doesn't look good and you can actually correct that directly here from the interface you simply just press the clip and then you get access to a sort of a temporary timeline and you can move to the clip section you can see this was uh, where i sort of turned the, the the drone a little bit so it kind of jumped we don't want that so we just go to like this i think that will work out nice and then let's replay it again So that way I could very easily produce a fast clip from some of the footage that I have available. But what is that is not enough. What if you want to do uh, more advanced stuff? You can do that. There's actually a pretty advanced editor available here inside, uh, inside uh, the DJI Fly app. It's kind of impressive what you can do. So let me just show you that. If you noticed up here in the top middle, there's something called Pro Mode. If I enable that, I can select the amount of clips that I want to work with. And in this case, let's just select the four clips that I have here in the bottom of the library. I press add. And then I will get into a full fledged editor that will offer a lot of options. And right now, the, all of the four clips are aligned after each other, like I selected it from the library. And then I can simply play it back here, like you would be able to in any other normal editor. What I can do next is I, I can simply scrub through the footage and then uh, when I have a section that I like, see I don't like this part, but I like this part so I can say okay I want the clip from start from here, I can simply cut. So in this way I can divide the clips that I've added to the timeline and only keep the pieces that I need for the final video. So let's just move the front part here, I don't like that. And for that option, I will just simply press the trash can here in the lower right corner. So in that way, I only have uh, this nice uh, pull away shot. And I will just keep it before I start tilting the gimbal. Like this. So I simply press the cut again. And then I will repeat this process uh, until I have a certain amount of clips that I want to use uh, for the final video. And then we'll go over the features that is available.
So now I've cut down the footage to the raw footage that I need for this uh, small video. So as you can see here, I can basically also, I can adjust the individual clip. If I'm not happy with the duration, I can simply adjust the clip directly on the timeline. If you want to rearrange uh, the footage um, so it comes, the clip comes in a different order, you simply just long press and then you drag it to the position that you want. So in this way, you can very easily reorganize uh, the footage that you have recorded. So that's a kind of a magnetic timeline similar to the one you know from Final Cut Pro. So let's see what we can do to each individual clip. There's uh, the tone option here and in that you can adjust all the different uh, parameters uh, for the clip that you would expect. You can adjust the brightness, you can adjust the contrast, you can mess around with the saturation of the clip, you can uh, change the temperature or the tint, you can even add vignetting in the corners uh, of uh, the picture and you can add some uh, digital sharpness. And the cool part here is that once you have decided there for a nice look, you can simply apply to all here by simply pressing apply here in the bottom. So the changes that you are making will be applied to all clips in your timeline. So like that. And because it's recorded with the same camera, it makes kind of sense to be able to do that. Make sure to keep the changes minimal, especially if you want to apply to all clips. There's no guarantee it will look good everywhere as uh, the Mavic Mini operates in auto, especially the white balance is uh, auto and you can't change that uh, manually. So uh, you might end up in a strange situation. But the good part is you can go in and adjust the individual clips if you have to. So let's uh, continue here. There's a volume option uh, that doesn't make much sense because this is drone footage. So there's no uh, uh, audio attached to the clips. There is a possibility to change the speed of a clip. If I want to speed it up to four times, I can do that. I can also slow it down to one fourth of the speed. So it goes slower. You just need to be careful if you slow it down that you have enough frames to cover the timeline. Otherwise it would look choppy and jerky. So let's just keep this clip at double speed times two like that. Then there's another neat function uh, here. Let's say that uh, instead of uh, the drone rising, I want it to descend. So I simply go in here and I reverse the clip. And uh, what you need to pay, pay attention to here, you don't need uh, any people or moving cars or something inside the clip because that will show once you reverse the clip. But for this purpose, it worked out pretty nice. So you see now it starts up and then it will simply descent back into the ground, which would be a nice uh, ending scene for this small video. You have a very easy way of copying a clip. You simply just highlight the clip that you want to copy and then simply press the copy button. If you press that, you will get two of the same clip. And in this video, it does not make much sense, but maybe uh, you have a video where it uh, repetition would be really nice. So that's a nice way to get an additional clip and you simply just move it as I showed you before to a different place in the timeline by dragging it like this. You have uh, the delete function which we used when we are scrubbing and uh, sort of selecting our footage and uh, that one I simply just highlight the part that I want to delete and then I press the trash can and that will take the clip away. So these are the options that you can do to each uh, individual uh, clip. I was kind of uh, surprised how much functionality you get right off the box with this. Of course, it's nice with these quick shot modes that uh, I showed you in the beginning, but with this type of editor, you can actually do a lot on the road. You might be wondering uh, what these squares are that are in this intersections between uh, two clips. And uh, those are actually transitions. So uh, let's just take this one as an example. And let me just show you the difference. This is the dissolve, where the picture dissolves into the other one. There's one where you use blur to, to make the transition. And uh, there's one that fades to black and one that fades to white. And there's uh, one that just shifts the picture. So, then, so you have these options uh, to mess around and make these uh, transitions uh, that will uh, help in your storytelling. So these were all the options that you could do to each individual clip.
and to uh, rearrange your timeline. Let's move on to the next one, and that is audio. We all know that drone footage looks pretty dull and uh, boring if you don't add an audio track. And luckily, you have options to do that, including music that you can use on your videos directly available inside the app. Let me just show you. So I tap here, so I can go in here, and there's a lot of music that you can listen to. And there is music that will cover almost anything in here. So let's just uh, take uh, maybe this one. I think this track will be a nice uh, addition uh, to our footage, so let's use that one. And what you will see, it will simply add the music track uh, below your clips. So, so now I have a uh, music that is added uh, to my video. I have certain options uh, to mess around with the, the music track that is uh, being uh, put below the video. First option is to replace it with something else, but I'm perfectly happy with this one, so we just let that stay. Then there's a trim option here, and that will allow me to take certain part of uh, the track that I want to use uh, for this uh, video. So what you can see is the yellow box simply is uh, the length of the video clips that I have currently have on the timeline. So I can position my music track somewhere like this. The music track would be nicely positioned so it fits the clip. So it has a nice start. I earlier showed you examples of how you can actually synchronize your footage and match it up to a beat. So you'll be looking for transitions uh, where you've got to switch from one clip to another to match it up with the audio track below the video. And you can do that by messing around with this. You simply jump back to the timeline editor here and then you can adjust each individual clip so it matches um, to the wave form of the audio that you see below the video track. It's a little bit fiddly to make that uh, happen so it matches perfectly, but uh, this is sort of the principle and it can be done directly on your phone. So that's pretty nice. If you think the timeline is getting a little bit too squeezed, you can actually just stretch it out. You can use two fingers to make it wider. That makes it a lot easier to work with. And stretching out the timeline, it will make it a lot easier for you to match up each clip to the music. Let's jump back and see what other options we have here under. There's a, a, a possibility to uh, add a fade in and a fade out for the audio track. And we can adjust the volume here. We think it should be higher or lower. Like that. I can also uh, go in here. That is a way that will help you uh, synchronize uh, your footage uh, to the beat. So let's say that we want to transition here. Oh, that was wrong. So let's just take that one away. So that way you can uh, point out or mark the rhythm points in your music. So there's uh, also the option to delete the music track. Yeah, and below of the video. It's so amazing that you have all these tools available directly on your phone. So you can make some really stunning stuff here. So let's just uh, jump to the next big option out here, this uh, magic wand. In that one, you can add a color grading look to your footage. And uh, let's say that uh, we want something uh, let's uh, a little bit orange tealish. Once you have selected the one that uh, you like, it's a bit like an Instagram filter. So that will be on top of all uh, the timeline. So you will have this uh, look and feel to all of your footage. So now we added this look to the footage. So now we have the raw uh, timeline, including the music track. And uh, then maybe we want an intro title uh, added to the video. And we do that by the last option, the T down here. And then we can select a kind of a title that we like. That will fit nicely on the video. Let's say I like this one. So what I do now is I press the three dots here and then I can simply call it whatever I want to call it. Let's say that I want to call it uh, Orlando, like that. And I can decide if it should be in the beginning, the end or always. I just want it in the beginning, like that. So now the video starts up very nicely with a headline. So. Those are the options uh, available uh, in uh, the DJI Fly app.
Once you're happy with your video project, you can simply export it to your photo album by pressing this share button in the upper right corner. You simply just press here 1080p and then continue and it will generate the video and export it to your camera roll. I hope you will take this opportunity to do some of your own videos directly on the DJI Fly app and share them in the Tech Drone Media Facebook group. I would be really eager to see what you can come up with. I left a link for the Facebook group in the description below if you're not already a member. So now the video has been saved to the camera roll, but you can decide to share it to one of your favorite social networks if you want to directly hear from within the DJI Fly app. So this was the basic functionality that you can get with the DJI Fly app. If you want to watch more videos that are made about the Mavic Mini, you can access a playlist that I made here. Or you can go to the YouTube recommended here. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be back on the next one.